Hello everyone, today our topic is how to create GitHub issue from Typeform submission. So here I'm using Typeform and I've created a new issue form in Typeform. Now here what I want is that whenever someone has any issue, then they can fill that form and I can get all the details of that form submission. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission from Typeform, then automatically I'm going to capture the detail of that form submission and I'm going to use these form submission details to create a new issue in GitHub. So for that, what I need to do is I need to build a connection between Typeform and GitHub. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing software of automation and integration. In Pavli Connect, I have to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Typeform. In Action application, I'm going to use GitHub. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can create GitHub issue from Typeform submission. So Typeform is a form building application and I have used Typeform to create an issue form. Now what is going to happen is now anytime anyone has any issue, then they can fill that form. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this form submission and I'm going to use this form submission details to create a new issue in GitHub. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission from Typeform, then automatically I'm going to use that form submission details to create a new issue in GitHub. And I want all this to happen automatically. So for that, what I need to do is I need to build a connection between Typeform and GitHub. So I'm going to build this connection with the help of Pabli Connect. And with Pabli Connect, I'm going to build this connection between Typeform and GitHub without any coding and programming skills. Now with the help of Pabli Connect, what is going to happen is that whenever I'm going to receive a new Typeform submission, then automatically I'm going to create a new issue in GitHub. So how I can build this connection and how I can use Pabli Connect for that, I need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect. And it will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then you just have to click on the sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. This is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I need to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to create GitHub issue from Typeform submission. And now I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have created in my Pabli Connect account. And I'm going to use this particular folder of GitHub. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to save my workflow in this particular folder. So I need to click on create. And it will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first. So for setting up the trigger, I'm going to open this tab and here my trigger application is going to be type form. So I'm going to select type form here. And now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new entry will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to connect type form with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click here on connect button. Now I need to click on add new connection and I'm going to connect with type form. Now here what I need to do is I need to scroll down and I just need to click on this accept button to give access to my account. And here my connection between type form and Pabli Connect is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to first select the form that I want to use. So for that, let me take you to my Typeform account and here I'm going to use this issue form. So this is going to be the form that I'm going to use to get the form submission. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect and here for selecting the form, you need to open this tab and in this tab, you'll find all the forms that you have created in your Typeform account 
and I'm going to use this particular form of issue form. So I'm going to select this. And now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see it is waiting for response. So how we are going to get this response for that, I need to create a new form submission. So for creating a new form submission, let me take you to my issue form. So this is my form and here I'm going to fill all these details. So my first name will be demo. Last name will be user. Now I have to give a phone number. So I'm going to fill a random phone number here. And now I have to give an email. So my email will be demo user at the rate pablitudes.com and I'm going to click on OK. And now I have to give a issue title. So here I'm facing an issue of connection error. So I'm going to give my issue title as connection error. And now I'm going to click on OK and I have to give my issue description. So my issue description will be I'm not able to connect applications. So this is going to be my issue description and now I need to click on submit and I have submitted this issue form. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Pabli Connect and here in Pabli Connect we can see I have received the response. So in this response I have all the detail of my form submission. So here I have my issue title which is connection issue. I have my issue description which is I'm not able to connect applications. Here I have my user details. So I have the first name which is demo. I have the last name which is user. I have the random phone number of my user. Also, I have the email address which is demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. Now here from this form submission, I have received my issue details. And now what I need to do is I need to use all these details of my form submission to create a new issue in GitHub. So for that, I need to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab and here my action application is going to be GitHub. So I'm going to select GitHub here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create an issue will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect GitHub with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I'm going to click on connect with GitHub. And now here I need to click on authorize Pabli. And here my connection is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my owner and the repo. So for this, let me take you to my account of GitHub. And here we are going to use this repo of Papcon. And this is my owner. And I only have one owner, which is Ashi0209. So I'm going to map this in Public Connect. So let's go back to Public Connect. So I only have one owner, which is Ashi0209. So it is already selected. Now I need to select my repo. So for selecting the repo, I need to open this tab. And I'm going to find all the repository that I have in my GitHub account. And I'm going to use this repo of Papcon. So I'm going to select this. And I need to give a label. So for the label, I need to open this tab and I'm going to find all the issue labels that I had in my GitHub account. So I'm going to use this label of bug. And now I have to fill all these details. So first I need to give my issue title and the description or the body of my issue. So I have received this details from my type form submission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that responses and I'm going to map those details here in these tabs to fill these details. So I need to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to click here. I will open the response of type form and in this I'm going to first search for my title of my issue. So this is my issue title, which is connection error. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to map the body of my issue. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of type form. And here, this is the description or the body of my issue. So I'm going to map this. And here I have mapped all these details. Now what is going to happen is that every time I'm going to receive a new form submission from type form, then automatically I'm going to receive new issue responses. So I have mapped all these details here and I've made these details dynamic. So what is going to happen is that every time I'm going to receive new response from type form, then automatically all these details are going to get replaced and I'm going to receive new details in real time. So by using all the new details that I'm going to receive from my new form submission, I'm going to create new issues in GitHub in real time. So I have mapped all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. And here I have received the response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have created a new issue in my GitHub account. Now to check this, let me take you to GitHub. And here in GitHub, I'm on issue section. And here in issues, we can see I've created this new issue, which is named as connection error. So I'm going to open this issue. And here the title of my issue is connection error. 
and it is labeled as bug and here this is the body or the description of my issue so the body is i'm not able to connect applications so here we can see that i have used all these details to fill in my type form to create a new issue in github so my connection between type form and github is working successfully and here i have used all the details that i have filled in my type form submission to create a new github issue so here this was the title of my issue and this is the body of my issue so my connection between Typeform and GitHub is working successfully and now whenever I'm going to receive a new form submission from Typeform then automatically I'm going to use that form submission to create a new issue in GitHub. Now to check this in real time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my form in Typeform and here I'm going to fill all these details one more time. So here my first name will be test, last name will be user and I'm going to give a random phone number. Now I need to give an email so my email will be test user at the rate pablitudes.com and I'm going to click on OK. Now I have to give an issue title so my issue title will be designing issue and I'm going to click on OK and I have to give the issue description. There is an error in UI UX design so this is going to be my description. Now I'm going to click on submit and here I have successfully submitted my form. Now I have created this new form submission so what should happen is that automatically by using these form submission details a new issue should be created in my GitHub account. So let's go back to GitHub. I'm going to go back to issues. And here in issues, we can see I've created this new issue, which is named as designing issue. So I'm going to open this. And here, this is the title of my issue, which is designing issue. I have the description, which is there is an error in UI UX design. And this is my label, which is of bug. So here we can see that I've just filled these details in my issue form in type form and automatically I've used all those details to create a new issue in my GitHub account. So here my connection between type form and GitHub is working successfully. Now let's go back to public connect and here by using public connect, I have successfully created this automation and connection between type form and GitHub in such a way that whenever I'm going to receive a new type form submission, then automatically I'm going to create a new issue in GitHub. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was type form and my trigger event was new entry. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was GitHub and my action event was create an issue. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.